All right, hello and welcome. We are doing some blueprint reading, section five. The section is a little bit different, so I'm gonna try to uh, kind of go back and forth. This is page 156. This is the print that they talk about in all the way up to page, I think 170 or 171. So you're gonna refer back and forth to this. So the best thing would be grab your packet and pull out the, um, the page on there so that you can go back and forth with it or follow along with me and we can uh, do this together, okay? So the first one that they talk about, it says, all items that make up this weldment have been inspected and are accurate according to the blueprint. More than one sequence can be used to place the pieces together according to the drawing and following is the sequence selected for this learning experience. A block of wood has been placed in the center of the lower vertical bearing, or a pipe, item number four, to locate and mark the center of the bearing. Okay. So what is the outside diameter of item four? So remember our bill of materials is really important. So item number four, okay, is quantity two, vertical bridge, 10 OD by two inch wall tubing. And then we can also look here. Here's our item four. Okay, so what is the outside diameter of four, the OD? What tool could be used to locate the center of item four? Hmm. A straight edge? Well, remember a straight edge does not have any markings and neither does a plumb line. So how would you get it there? And then what is the inside diameter of four? Okay, so they say the outside is 10 and the wall is two inches thick, I believe it says two inch wall, okay? So two plus two, 10 minus four is, you guessed it. Okay, next part. Item four is placed on the face plate. Here's our face plate. This is what we're building off of. Here's item four. Item one is placed in position over item four. So item one actually has a hole in it for this pipe. And item four is centered on the hole of item one. Okay, how thick should the parallel bars be to establish the dimension from the bottom of item one to the bottom of item four or dimension A? So they show us dimension A. Okay, so now we're going to go back to our print. And it's going to ask us from the bottom of item one, which is that U, to the bottom of our item four. So remember, our extension lines really help out here. So here's an extension, and here's an extension, and here is my dimension. All right, what is the dimension from the center of item four to the inside edge of the vertical legs of item one or dimension B? So it's asking from the inside to the center, surface to center relationship. Okay, so let's look for item B. Hmm, so remember our extension lines really help here. So here's our inside, right? Well, I think we're gonna have to do a little math here. So it says from here to here is one inch, and we can see from here to here, from the outside to the center is 24 and a half, but we would need to go to the inside. So 24 and a half minus one, okay? What is the dimension from the center of item four to the outside edge of item one in the side view? Okay, so let's see. Item four to this from the center to the outside edge of one in the side view. Okay, so let's find the side view. So we know this is top, front, side. Here is our item four. Now we have to find the outside edge of one. <laughs> Well, we know from outside to outside, 
that would be not it. I think this might work, guys, right here from this edge to this edge. I think it would be that. All right, let's do one more page and keep on going. All right, page 159. What tool could be used to check the right angle relationship of the vertical legs of item one with the horizontal face plate surface or angle C? Okay. What would I use? Hmm, I don't know. When the two vertical legs are both at right triangles to the face plate, right triangle, right triangle, the two legs are parallel, in line, or at right angles to each other. All right, guys, see you later.